Hello, and welcome to day one of learning Fusion 360. In today's lesson, we'll be going over some of the basic commands and tools that Fusion 360 has to offer. We'll also be creating our first 3D model using the sketch and extrude commands. When you open Fusion 360, you can see that your tool menu will be located on the top of your screen, and your design rendering will be in the center. On the left side of your screen, you will see your design browser. This is where you can find your components, bodies, sketches, and other important parts of your build. On the bottom edge of the program, you can find your parametric timeline. We'll get to this feature later on. On the top right of your design window, you can find your view cube. With the view cube, you can rotate the point of view of your model. By pressing down the scroll wheel button, you are able to pan around the design. Whenever you start your design, you should always start by saving it, naming it, and organizing it into a folder. To save your file, you can select the Save button at the top left of your screen, or use the shortcut keys, Control s Once the Save menu opens, rename your file and save it to a folder. I'll be naming my design Day 1 of Learning Fusion 360. I'm then going to create a new project and put all these designs of the series in. Then press Save to move on. To start this design, we're going to need to make a 2D sketch. You can activate the sketch command by pressing the button called Create Sketch in the Solid Modeling tab. When you activate the tool, three orange squares should appear on the screen. These squares represent the three planes of modeling. You have your XY plane, the XZ plane, and the YZ plane. For today's model, we'll be sketching on the XY origin plane. To make the base of our model, we'll be using the two-point rectangle tool. With the two-point rectangle command, we are able to select the two diagonal points of the rectangle and generate a rectangle anywhere on the sketch plane. Select the first point of the rectangle at the origin. We are then able to drag out however far we want the rectangle to be. You are also able to input values to get exact measurements. Input the first value as 50 millimeters. Then use the tab key to switch to the other measurement and enter 50 millimeters there as well. We want the base of the model to be a square. Left click to place the square. Use the escape key to get out of any tool and get back to the select tool. In our sketch, we can see that all the edges of the rectangle are black. This means the sketch is fully defined and is good to extrude to make into a 3D object. Press the finish sketch button to go back to the solid tab. We are now going to make our 2D sketch into a 3D body. To make the sketch 3D, we must extrude it outward. You can find the extrude command in the create menu, or by pressing the shortcut key E. With the extrude command activated, you can select any 2D profile you want to extrude. For now, we will not change any of the settings for the extrude. Just make sure that the operation is set to new body. When you select the square profile, you can change the height of the extrusion. Enter 50 millimeters to make this model a cube. Select OK to confirm the extrude. You have now just made your first 3D model in Fusion 360. Make sure to be saving any changes that you make to your model. You can do this by pressing Ctrl S and selecting OK. We are now going to make some holes in this cube to make it look better. Pick any side of the cube that you want to make the first hole on. We will repeat this process three times to get to the finished product. To make this hole, create a sketch on the face of the cube. We want to find the center to make the circle. This can be done by using construction lines. To activate and deactivate construction mode, press X. You can activate construction mode in the line type options on the menu on the right. Activate the line command with L or by pressing the line option in the top menu. Use the two sets of corners on the cube to make two diagonals. This will give us a center point of our square. Press X to deactivate construction mode. Now we can use the center diameter circle command to make the shape of the hole. Press C to activate the circle command or press the command in the top menu. If we hover our mouse over the intersection of the diagonal lines, we can see the, a small triangle icon appear. This indicates the center of a line. Left click on the center to place the circle. We will define this circle's diameter as 35 millimeters and press enter to confirm. We can now use this circle to extrude a cut in the cube. Press E to activate the extrude command. Select the circle profile you just made. Set the operation to cut in the menu. Now enter negative 50 millimeters as the cut distance. You should now see a red outline of the cut. Press OK to confirm the cut. If we look around the shape now, we can see a hole cut through the center. We must repeat this process two more times on the other face planes of the object. 
If you don't remember the steps, go back through the video and watch the process again. Remember, if you make any mistakes, you can always press Ctrl Z to undo your last action. Congratulations, we've now finished our first 3D design. In the next video, I'll be showing you the 3D printing process of this model. That is all for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to support our channel, and feel free to leave any questions or advice in the comment section. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for future videos.